What up, YouTube? Back on the 63 Impala. Rainy day in Georgia. Look at that spider. <laughs> Guess he wants some water, too. <laughs> I almost ran into him. But, uh, yep, rainy day in Georgia. We back working on this. Stripping the panels on here, still. Working on this door right here. See that? Get all the paint off of it, though. But also, get these fenders right here. Did them in like about two hours after work last night. Strip both of those down. Two. And both of them had just a pound of bondo in them for, for, for absolutely no reason, man. It wasn't even a, a dent big enough for that much bondo that these people put in here. And in some places, it wasn't even a dent, and they put Bondo on it. So I'm not even sure what that was about, but we moved all the Bondo out of it. Getting real dusty, body shoppish in here. Uh, on my fenders, I found rust in the normal places. They had put Bondo over there, so I'm going to cut that out and uh, put a patch panel in it. Same thing on this side. The rust through. Typical on these cars right here. Uh, the rust right there. So, yep. Stripping the pads. Stripping the bondo here. Um, 3M sent me to try out for them. They sent me this. Uh, I don't put my address out in there, but yeah, they sent me this package right here. Um, it had a strip disc in it. Just like the ones I usually buy. It has some safety glasses, ear plugs. Also had uh, grinding discs and a flat wheel in here. They sent this to me. So um, I usually use the cheaper ones. Um, and I'm not going to advertise them, but you could pretty much figure out. Who I'm talking about, but I usually use the cheaper ones just because they're cheap, and I feel like I can get more of them. And I did compare the two, and the 3M one, man, it was it was great out the gate. You know, uh, I touched the panel with it and went straight down the metal, and I mean, for like a good two or three minutes, it was it was good. You know, this is the pad right here. I'm using it on, but it was good for like the first two or three minutes, and it's still. A little bit left on there, but kind of got slow. Uh, once I got into it, kind of got slow. Unlike the other uh, pads that I use. And I've done this panel right here with that one disc. And uh, it's like the disc kind of giving out on me. I don't know if it's just the curves in it or that sort of thing. Uh, but it's like the disc starting to give out on me whereas the cheaper ones um uh, was able to do both of these fenders right here with it and before it went out on me so i don't know if it's more area on these um these doors than it is on those two fenders over there but the cheaper disc did two fenders and the 3M went only did like this door right here and it's like it's starting to run out of gas even though it's still some meat on the actual disc it's like it's starting to run out of gas and ain't cutting as good as it was when it started but that's my honest review honest review of it um me personally i think i'm gonna keep using the uh cheaper disc i don't think it's worth the money um i can get the cheaper disc for about six bucks and I stand in line 12 times if I have to to get the 20% off so I guess that's a hint though but yeah <laughs> I want the 20% off but so they're about six bucks so when you come down to it it's about four dollars and eighty cent with the discount and the three M's are probably maybe a fifteen dollar disc a twelve dollar disc so in my opinion it's just my opinion you know uh, I think the the, uh, for this type of work right here now maybe you're using it on a car like that or something you know what I'm saying then yeah a car like that you could probably do the whole car with it the paint's real thin on it but 
to actually remove rust and and I'm not doing the body filler with it. I'm using the wire wheel for the body filler. Uh, but to remove rust in like two coats of paint in some areas, three coats of paint, I think the cheaper dish, uh, they, they did way better than the uh, 3M ones. So that's just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? My best analogy of it is it's like a Toyota against a V8 Chevy, you know? Yeah, off the line, that Toyota is probably going to get a half a block on that V8, but when that V8 kicking that third or fourth gear, <laughs> you already know. No replacement for displacement, baby. So, yep, that's just my honest review, y'all. YouTube, all right, we steady stripping on these panels on this rainy day in Georgia. Best day to do it. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, peace, YouTube.